What's up guys, it's your boy Ed Maxos here. We're here with another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video here again. Today is exciting day. We're doing our first tutorial on the Airbus. If y'all didn't catch my last video on my Airbus, I did a terrible job at flying it. Couldn't even land it properly. I don't even know like what any of this means. What I've gotten myself into. <laughs> if I could just get these flaps back down, dude. dude send it right now. Just send it. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get this bird up in the air, turn on autopilot, auto adjust the speed. It basically just flies itself so you can guys enjoy the view. If you all like this video, found it interesting, found it useful, please like and subscribe as it helps out the YouTube algorithm. Please drop in a comment if you guys got any questions, but without further ado, let's get in the video. <laughs> Um, my flight conditions, you can change your flight conditions to whatever you'd like. For now, I like to do live players, live traffic, but I want to show you what it is during the day, and right now it's pretty dark um, where I want to fly to, so we're going to manually set the preset to uh, clear skies just so you, you can kind of get a feel um, while the conditions are great um, for flying and stuff like that, so it's easier for me to teach you. So what's a really cool feature about this game is that you can change it to live players and live traffic. Live traffic is real world, like no shit, like Delta and American Airlines flying around airport to airport. Live players is just the um, people that are playing the game, but you can also see where they're at, um, copy down their flight path and stuff like that, see where they're going, stuff like that. So really cool stuff. Um, and you can also do live weather, which I think is really cool. Um, I've used this to check out like a couple hurricanes as, as well, and the weather effects are phenomenal. I highly recommend you all check out the weather effects. If you haven't acquired this game yet or you're just picking it up, I highly recommend that. Really cool features here with the weather. I really don't know how they simulate the weather in this game. World map, you can go anywhere in the world. Any small airport you can think of, it is on here. Like I've, I thought there were small airports that I could think of, even like where I'm from, Maine and they're in there. So I was really surprised by that and the de level of detail is insane. I don't know how they did it. So first thing you probably want to do is select your airplane. We have under airliners, we've picked the Airbus right here. Um, we have some liveries as well. So we're going to be flying Spirit. Uh, weight and balance. We don't really need to f mess with that at all. ATC options, this is where you can um, change your call sign and stuff like that. Um, for me, I have it as add max sauce, but it reads it as add max saucy. So you'll, you'll see that. It's pretty funny, actually. Gives me a chuckle every time air traffic control calls me up. But uh, anyway, so today we're flying from Bangor to Logan International Airport. We'll be able to see Boston, um, see the level of detail this game has to offer. Clear skies, so we'll be able to see Boston very clear. Um, I just went over and hovered over and clicked it, but you can enter in. You can search for any airport that you'd like as long as you know what the uh, identifier is. It's really hard to pick it sometimes just by the name, so if you know what the identifier is, you can pick it easily. Um, doesn't really matter what runway we pick. Um, right now it has us on 3-3. That's what the designated runway is. Pick that runway, that's fine. What I'm worried about right now is the approach. So sometimes it goes like really wonky stuff with the approach, like comes in like here and then has you do like a 180 and then lines up the runway. So we're gonna try to do it in direct. All right, so as you can see, we got a bunch of different flavors here. Um, would that work? So this is probably what we want. So we want a nice gentle turn here. So as long as we have autopilot on, it will follow these. This is gonna be a little wonky, but that's all right. So yeah. Um, also, keep in mind, I have IFR low altitude airways. High altitude airways is like for like cross continental flights when you're going to be climbing up really high. Um, VFR, so the difference between IFR and VFR, VFR is visual rules. So you basically just like, hey, I'm not going to give you any separation from any traffic. You're responsible for visually separating yourself from other aircraft. IFR is instrument and um, air traffic control is going to tell you a certain altitude to maintain. Um, I have it on super easy settings, by the way. Um, they like, like almost arcade settings, uh, just so I can get my bearings. I've only been flying this for a week. I've been trying to get good, per se, but I'm gonna show you how to get up in the air um, and how to turn on autopilot and stuff like that on this particular aircraft. Each aircraft is a little different, I've noticed, and sometimes it's a little hard to find out in the air like what you need to do. So just keep that in mind. All right. 
So we just got cleared for takeoff. As you can see, I have all the settings on like super easy. So it automatically does all the pre-check. It has me like taxi on the runway, clearing me for takeoff. So I can just literally just release the parking brake and go. Um, that's what I really like about this game is that at any level, you can really get your bearing for aviation on this game. Um, I really don't know like all the switches and stuff like that on the plane. I'm not like a technical expert and I'm not going to bore you with all the details on this plane. I'm just literally going to show you how you can get this bird up in the air super quick. I use a, a, a combination of the controller and keyboard. So I have the controller as my yoke. So you don't really need like a, a fancy sim rig. I'm using an Xbox controller and then I can switch from that to the keyboard. Whichever you prefer, it don't matter. Um, you can have a flight rig, it don't matter, but I'm just telling you what I'm using so you all can compare. So I release the parking brake, you can use the controller, you can use Y and B at the same time to release the parking brake, or you can use control uh, num delete, uh, num lock delete uh, key to release the parking brake. So now we're free, park and brake, we're cleared for takeoff. Um, I would definitely hop in the tutorials. Um, so you can change your views like this, control one, control two. Um, I'm, I usually flip between these two when I'm in flight, um, but you can also use control space to zoom out. Obviously with the controller, you can use the right analog to look around and stuff like that. But I like the feature of the keyboard um, to switch the views quickly so I can make adjustments quickly if I need to. I really use the controller just for the yoke. All right, so as you can see, I, ha I use control one to look at this view. Uh, we have our, it has F1 as back to zero, F2 to decrease your throttle, and F3 on the keyboard um, to increase your throttle. So I'm going to hold F3, and we're going to see that go up, it's, and it's going to do both at the same time. Alright, so for some reason those didn't move, which is kind of weird. Um, so we're getting up to speed. We want about 160 knots, so don't even move the yoke yet. We're at 100, we're gonna be at 160 knots by the time, uh, once we pull the yoke. All right, uh, we're kind of taking off automatically, but oh, that's a little more rough than I wanted to, but that's okay. So we're gonna try to keep the heading the same. As you can see, we're getting some wind from the left. So we're gonna move the yoke to the left a little bit. We're gonna be in a climb phase where we're kind of, our nose is pointed higher than the horizon. As you can Atlanta see, bet okay so as you can see we're kind of tilted right now on the screen right there oh, let me zoom in real quick so yeah as you can see i turn to the right here and it tilts it back and forth um we want to keep on this heading for a little bit bangor departure at max saucy 3 november mike alpha charlie is climbing through 2200 feet for 6000 feet okay so you heard that we're going to climb to 6000 feet so we're going to turn this on autopilot we're gonna engage autopilot 6,000 feet. It, to know it's, if it's working or not, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna see the 6,000 here. And it's gonna, that's your set altitude. Right now it's climbing, so that's how you know it's working. The pitch is up. Um, we're still in, our throttle is still full right now. And I'll show you how to engage the throttle once we get to a certain altitude, but I'm gonna manually shut it down so we don't um, go over a speed warning in case you all are, uh, you're using not arcade settings. So as you can see, we're already flying through, we're flying to this line right here, and it's going to follow this flight path all the way down, all the way down here. It's even going to line us up for the runway and everything, so that's why it's important to pick your path and approach, and you want to pick a smooth one as well. See how this is nice and smooth, nice smooth line, no like 180s like we're like an F, like a fighter jet. So it's going to do a nice smooth curl, and it's going to line us up nice and smooth, and it's going to make it easier for the air traffic control to separate us. We're at altitude, so I'm going to set it to auto throttle. So right now it's at 56. I'm going to turn this off. I just want to make sure this is working. Okay, so I turned it off, turned it on. See how the throttle is at auto? I tuned it down so that it was on auto, but before it was this. It was on takeoff, and uh, I forget what the GA stands for. But basically, this is like when the throttle is at full, it ignores the auto throttle, like 100%, and then you'll just keep climbing. You'll, just, you'll notice your speed just keep going up and up and up because we're at full throttle. So you want to manually turn your throttle down to auto. See how it turned to auto right there? And just click this on and off, and then it will it will automatically take over. So now that my game's synced up, you can see, as you can see, this is main. It's the ocean right there. 
I'm actually going to request an altitude increase since we've got a little ways to go. Now you're like, oh, how do I increase my altitude? Good question. So you're going to talk to ATC here. I like to ex I like to use this button right here, and it makes it a regular Windows screen, and you can drag it to another screen if you have it. It's a really nice feature. You, you can do this to any of these windows here, um, even your view, which is nice. So you can have it as a separate screen, so it's not blocking your view like it is right now for me. Um, let me move this over here so you all can see it. So th this is the history. Ugh, this is the history of all the traffic. Yeah. So AJ is this. This is going to be our next. Uh, I think it's like VOR. I think that's what's called. Um, but basically, that what's that's what keeps us on the flight path that we're on, and that's how the autopilot it, autopilot talks to that, and then that's how we're able to keep on the setting without me just like constantly uh, pulling on the yoke and changing the pitch and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to request an altitude increase, cruising altitude increase, and uh, we're just going to eat this up to 10,000. And I'll show you wh what you kind of have to watch out for when you do this. Boston Center at Max Saucy, three no takes a lot of practice. Request 16,000 feet. And I'm just going to actually just put this over to the right on my other screen here. You won't be able to see it. Alright, so air traffic control, the radar, the Logan Center is telling me to climb and maintain 6,000 feet. So I'm going to show you what it looks like um, with auto throttle on when I change this to 16,000 feet. So I'm gonna change this to 16,000 feet. And you can also change the vertical and speed. The vertical speed, um, so we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna actually change this to 16,000 first. So as you can see, we changed it to 16,000. So we went from 6,000 up here on the blue to 16,000. So now this is the vertical speed right here. We're going up to 10, we keep climbing. As you can see, it increased our um, throttle. So it's giving us more throttle because we need more throttle because we're fighting against gravity right now. So the throttle is doing all of its job, um, keeping us at whatever airspeed we kept it at, which is 250. So it's keeping us at exactly 250. You can change the speed right here. Um, so up here, if you click up on this, like you push down on it, it's going to set it to whatever speed the uh, nav aids Put it at. If you want to manually set the air mode, if you don't like whatever speed it's telling you to do, you can change it right here, and then it will automatically adjust whatever it is here. As long as you have your throttle set down to auto down here, and you kind of click this on and off. I've had to do it a couple times, um, just to um, oh, and I forgot my landing gear. Landing gear has been down this whole time. Amateur mistake. You just hit G, or I think it's like left analog, click in a fan analog controller, and the gear comes up. So right now we're still climbing. So if, if it's not climbing the way you want it to, you can actually change the airspeed up here. This is what I was talking about earlier. So right now we're at plus 20. We can change this maximum of 60. So we can change this to, let's just do this 30. See if we can handle that. And then don't click here, but click here. And then it's going to put that in to the altitude, and it's going to calculate that. And it's going to calculate how much throttle you need. And we might need more throttle to boost it up. Okay, so you do hit down on that. You hit down on the vertical speed, and that bumps it up to 30. That's what we mainly put it as. So it's trying to it's trying to climb us up that high, but it's kind of hard in this big thing. So right now it's trying to, it's trying to keep the speed. So it's going to level out a little bit to keep the speed, but then it's going to yeet us up to 30. And then, it, and then the speed, if the speed goes down too much, um, it'll try to level out. So what we're going to do is to fix that is we're going to lower our speed a little bit. So it'll maintain like 200, but it's going to keep climbing. So it's going to, it's going to keep us at 30, but it's lowering, we're giving the throttle a little bit break. So it's going to keep the, yep. And then now it's going to give us more throttle and it's going to keep that angle until it needs more speed. And then it's going to level out again. Um, so this is exactly what would happen. Um, now, if you want to quickly climb up, now you can just shut this off, and now it's not gonna it's not gonna auto throttle. So then we can just put this full thrust, 100%, and it's not gonna care what speed we're at. And now, as you can see, we're gonna be able to keep this pitch of 30 constant. We might go a little bit fast, but there's nothing limiting our throttle. We're manually doing it. 
So that's just a little tutorial on like the, the airspeed and stuff like that, what I've understood. If you guys got any questions in the comments, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer the best I can. But like I said, I've only been playing this for a week or so. Right there, uh, engage. We manually set it. So as you can see right now, um, our speed is still going up. But that's because, remember, we have it at take off and go 100%. So we're going to actually go back over here. And we're going to change our speed back down so that it's auto. And then we're going to let the auto throttle take over. It actually already took over. We didn't have to turn it off to turn it back on. So the auto throttle is already going down. See, our speed's already going down. We're keeping at 16,000 feet because that's what we set it to. We didn't mess with that at all. We're just messing with the speed right now. Um, so we're holding that altitude, and it's actually auto automatically putting our throttle down to automatically what it is. And while it's doing all of this, it's actually adjusting the pitch and stuff like that. So if you notice right here, this is our pitch and stuff. And you would have to manually do this if autopilot wasn't doing anything. So you'd have to constantly adjust the yoke and adjust this pitch. And the pitch basically like sets it so that you don't have to pull it on the yoke as much. You can kind of pitch your plane up or down, but it's automatically doing this as putting an input as holding your altitude. So that's the beauty of autopilot. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically the speed lesson there. Well guys, that's it for today's video. If y'all want me to have a tutorial on um, lowering your altitude and your speed and getting ready for landing on the, on the same flight that I did, please like and drop a comment if you would be so kind to help out the YouTube algorithm. But that's it for today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.